There are a wave of new underarm deodorants hitting the stores that are being marketed as having 0% aluminium. And consumers are moving over to these products from their traditional antiperspirant deodorants. The reason is that it is claimed that the aluminium in antiperspirant deodorants causes breast cancer. The deodorants do contain it because it's specifically the aluminium in them which blocks the underarm sweat ducts, hence the name antiperspirant. Like usual, the mainstream media will accept money to put out fake and misleading articles on the subject, creating doubt in the consumer's mind as to whether antiperspirant deodorants really do cause breast cancer. So let's take a look at the facts. There have been dozens of studies done which all show that the highest incidences of breast cancer occur in the upper outer quadrant. These studies have been done for decades and as more people started to use antiperspirants, the incidences of breast cancer in the upper outer quadrant increased in ratio, with the rates exceeding 60% compared to the other three quadrants and the one middle section. Now the upper outer quadrant just so happens to be the area closest to the underarms and where the antiperspirant deodorants are being sprayed. Plus we know that aluminium is genotoxic and carcinogenic and the skin is permeable to it. You'd have to expect each of the five sections to have an even 20% distribution. So when one section has 60% of all the breast cancers, even Blind Freddy can see that there's a problem. But how do we know it's the aluminium? Well, there have been other studies where scientists took breast fat tissue and tested it for aluminium content. And they did indeed find a significantly higher amount of aluminium in the upper outer quadrants near the underarm. More evidence was found in a study which showed that women who used antiperspirants had a higher risk for breast cancer and also confirmed the higher aluminium concentrations in the breasts. While another study measured the breast cyst fluids and found that they also had a raised aluminium level. Then there was a study taking a different angle which showed that multiple issues caused by aluminium toxicity in the body disappeared once they stopped using antiperspirants. Finally, there was a good study done on mice where they treated their breast cells with aluminium chloride at the same concentrations found in human breast tissue and large metastatic tumours formed in the mice. The evidence that antiperspirant deodorants cause breast cancer is overwhelming, but there are two more important points to know. Firstly, you can get breast cancer from other exposures to aluminium, and the aluminium can be deposited in the breasts as well. Common sources are from antacids, uh, vaccinations, uh, cooking utensils and cooking products. Secondly, aluminium is not the only cause of breast cancer. There is a demonstrated link to oral bacteria and there are known breast cancer causing parabens in many personal care products. Keep this in mind, but ditching the antiperspirants should be the first step you take to keep yourself free of breast cancer. To learn more about breast cancer factors and for recommendations on safe deodorants to use, please visit my website at healthglade.com. Hi, this is Adam from Healthglade. If you enjoyed this video and want more health related content that you won't hear anywhere else, please follow our social media channels. But our content is highly controversial and Big Brother often takes down our pages. So also join our mailing list at healthglade.com and when it happens we'll email you links to the new ones. Our videos are not copyrighted so you can help by downloading them and re-uploading to your channels. Thanks for watching and if you know anyone who will benefit from this content, please drop a like and share it with them.